Hi, I'm Scott Hansman. It's Azure Friday, and we are going to try to hook up a Azure website from GitHub using Kudu with David Ebo. So I'm on my uh, my Azure portal, and I've got lots of websites here, and I'm also now an admin on this GitHub repository where we've got an ASP.NET MVC app, and this is ready to be deployed. Yes, but it's living inside GitHub right now. That's right. So. Uh Unlike the previous uh, video that we made, where we pushed a Git repository straight from our machine to Azure, we are actually going to set up continuous deployment from GitHub to Azure. Okay. So from within Azure websites, I'll say new website. And uh -huh. instead of a quick, quick create, I'll do a custom, custom create. create. Yes. Okay. This is from GitHub. And I'll say publish from source control. And then instead of local Git repository, I'll pick one of the other ones. We've got Dropbox yes. and Bitbucket. I'll say GitHub. This is all integrated in the, in the portal here. So it's actually popping up and saying, is it authorized to talk to GitHub? So right, it, right. It pulled you a list You must have out. done the workflow before. If it was the first well, time you did it, you would have had to authorize the OAuth workflow. Usually right. Stuff. One yeah. time I, uh, I logged into GitHub and it said, Azure wants permission to talk to GitHub. That's right. And, and that was that moment there where it said, do I have permission? And it popped up, it popped down. So now, uh, what is the name of our David? Oh, here it is, the David Ebel. Yes. See, look, it actually has a nice indentation there, MVC4 application 5, and it says branch to deploy. Mm -hmm. I'll just pick master for yeah, now. Yeah, we can start with master. All right, and then we'll hit OK. So that's going to go and create the This Is From GitHub uh, website, in, in this case in Eastern US. And is it talking to GitHub? Uh, yeah, I mean, right after the site is created, it's going to set up the relationship, mm -hmm. basically uh, setting up what's called a, a post-receive hook uh, on GitHub, such that anytime something is pushed to GitHub, uh, it will publish to Azure. Okay. So, did uh, if I click on deployments, it has it already deployed? Right so it's deploying yes. right now. Yes. Okay, this is interesting. So if you look here, it says GitHub. So it knows Azure knows mm -hmm. it came from GitHub. It is linked to GitHub. It says deployed by GitHub. If I log into GitHub, where would I see that that is um, that hook exists? Yeah, good question. You'd have to go into settings. Okay, so this is settings. And service hooks. Service hooks. And ah, web, web hook hooks, URLs. Yes. Yeah, the reason there are five is I've been using this site oh. for all kind of testing, but this is the one. So that's us. Yes. And this is you testing my cool site. Yes. This and yes. that. And this is a really long URL that ends in. This is from GitHub, and then this shows that Azure Websites SCN. This is yes. the, the Kudu the site. Kudu service, yes. Okay. And that means that GitHub will call that URL when um, it's time to deploy? Yes, that's right. Do it they basically do pings, it's GitHub pings that URL, the mm -hmm. URL turns back and does a git fetch to get the latest bits and then deploys it. Okay, cool. Well, here, this was the initial deployment, so there was no GitHub telling us to deploy. We knew it was the first one, so we had to go get the bits. If you were to now push something to GitHub, we would okay. see that. So right. we, can, we can show that, actually. All right, let's do that. So if at the command line here... Yes, yeah, so here, to, to, this is a clone of that same repo that we have on the machine. So if you do git remote-v, we'll see that -V. we are... Ah. You know, this is a clone of that same repo. Okay, this is the same exact code. Yes. Okay. So now if you make some, some kind of uh, random change... All right, so I'll just load that up and I'll just change some text in the in an index page. Yes, yes. Or if you go in the controller, I've been sort of messing with that test, uh, that text as a, as a test select. Okay. So we'll say Azure Friday. Okay. Okay, so I've made a small change and presumably it works just fine. Uh, of course, <laughs> no testing here, but uh, we get the idea. Yes. Uh, I could say get get status and see that that controller's uh -huh. changed. So then git add and git commit uh, Scott made a change. And then git push, and I'm going to say origin master? Yes. And this is going to push it to GitHub. To GitHub, yeah. Now if we probably go... probably ask you for both your username and password. Uh, right. I mean, ideally we would have hooked it up with an SSH. Uh, right now it's using HTTPS, so you'll have to... Indeed. And if I go here into home controller, this is the history. I haven't done anything yet. There's yes. you. I'll come out here and I'll, I'll push it and we'll see if it prompts me for my, my GitHub credentials. And like you said, in, you might want to hook up SSH and things like that. Okay. So then I put that in there because you made me admin. Yes. And so then that's if I pushing do a refresh, to GitHub. Scott made a change. If I go over here, it's already happening. Yes. It, so it, the I didn't have to do anything. 
That's right. You pushed from your local machine to GitHub. Okay. GitHub informed the Azure website that there was something new. Okay. The site turned back and fetched the new changes, built them, and they're live. And this is the GitHub commit message, and it knows it was actually me. Yes. Does it know it's me from GitHub, or does it? Do I have to have an Azure account to do this? It knows it's you from the the commit that was made, which has your name on it. So people could be your your uh, your GitHub helpers and have no relationship or administration of Azure. Yes, you would see the name there. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So we just committed a website from source code commits that happened in GitHub, used a service hook to call Kudu, and deploy that to Azure websites. Yes. And in fact, if you look at that other field here, it says deployed by GitHub. It shows that actually the, what triggered the deployment was not an end user pushing to Azure, but was GitHub. Very cool. It's Azure Friday.